Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another video on ECG. I am Dr. Wajid Shabir. This is the ECG which we are going to discuss today. But before starting the discussion, as always, note down the findings and diagnosis with yourself. And at the end of the video, compare your findings and diagnosis with what was discussed in this video. So let's begin the discussion on this ECG. The first thing which we can appreciate clearly on this ECG strip is the absence of lead V2 and V3, which means that we cannot completely interpret this ECG as we don't have the lead V we don't have lead V2 and V3. But still we can find plenty of information on this ECG strip. So as always, you know, the first thing which we look at on an ECG is the rhythm. For rhythm, we will look at rhythm strip which is present at the bottom of the ECG. You can see that there are upright and prominent P waves before each QRS complex, which means that this is a rhythm which originates from SA node. But you can also note that the distance between R R way to R waves is not constant. The R R interval is variable. Now there are multiple causes of irregular R R interval or you may say irregular rhythm, which includes atrial fibrillation, which is not the case in this ECG, as there are prominent P waves. Uh, other causes include sinus rhythm with premature atrial contractions and certain heart blocks. To find the most accurate diagnosis, we will stay focused on rhythm strip. If you note the second QRS complex in lead 2, you can see a uh, normal PR interval before this QRS complex. While the next PR interval is prolonged, it is significantly prolonged. After that, the P waves is hidden within the T wave and there is no QRS complex after that P wave. Now, how do we assume that the P wave is hidden within the T wave. So if we calculate the atrial rate, we can see that the atrial rate is around 75 beats per minute. So if we march the P waves, the 75 uh, beats per minute is approximately lies at this T wave. So the atrial rate is around 75 beats per minute and the third P wave is not being conducted and it is preceded by progressive PR prolongation. So as you know the presence of such phenomena where there is progressive PR interval followed by a drop in QRS complex is called Mobitz von Arvenki back phenomenon. Immediately after this drop beat, you can note that the PR interval is again short, and then again the cycle begins with PR prolongation and a drop beat. But here you can see that after a short PR interval, the very next P wave is not being conducted. The P wave after this QRS complex is not being conducted. And after that, there is again short PR interval, which is followed by a prolonged PR interval. So we are seeing two different phenomena here. One is progressive prolongation of PR interval with a drop, subsequent drop in 
QRS complex, which is very typical of Movitz 1 or Winky back phenomena. While towards the end of this uh, rhythm strip, you can see the sudden drop of QRS complex after P wave. This is actually 2 into 1 AV block. So here we have a uh, AV uh, Mobitz 1 AV block with intermittent 2 into 1 AV block. Next is axis. Uh, as you can see that the QRS direction is upwards in lead 1 and lead AVF it is directed downwards. So the axis here is definitely left axis deviation. Now if you concentrate on lead AVL, you can see that the R wave is quite prominent in lead AVL. The amplitude of R wave in lead AVL is around 20 small scales. So as per Skolov criteria, uh, an AVL which is more than 11 small scales in amplitude means that there is left ventricular hypertrophy. Also there are T wave inversions in lead 1, lead AVL and lead B4 and lead B5. There could be multiple reasons for these T wave inversions but in this setting with left axis deviation and presence of LVH, these T wave inversions are most likely due to left ventricular hypertrophy. So to sum up the findings, we have a sinus rhythm here with uh, Mobitz 1 and intermittent 2 ratio 1 AV block. There is left axis deviation and there are T wave inversions with left ventricular hypertrophy. So this is all for today. Hopefully you like this video. For more videos, kindly do subscribe to this channel. Stay tuned and take care. Till next time.